morning and welcome back to the Rift Breaker. Now we are going to be continuing on our Brutal versus Me or Green Me campaign. We're playing through the Brutal campaign this time. So far it's been surprisingly easy. I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, but we are going for the Holy Green achievement. So that means that as we're building up to the end game, we can't use gas, we can't use nuclear power, we can't use carbonium uh, power. We, or rather I, have to get all my power from solar, wind, and plants. So I'm allowed to use biomass generators. That has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe with jump location for an initial sample mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving heavy, heavy, much easier. Heavy weaponry only. Okay, so now that hopefully we know all this, we really do. All right, so today where we left off uh, was hey, we're about to get next level of renewable energy. Yeah. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. Research completed. Ah, right. Okay, so that's just geothermal. That's the all right. We do have a. Has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe red jump location within the volcanic zone. However. You should expect extreme environmental conditions. I'm just gonna let this guys talk it out. Extreme environmental hazards. And then you can hear from me. Creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. Okay. So now we now have the orbital scanner mission to go to new locations. We are not gonna do that for a little bit. Instead, we're going to build up our base here and just make sure that we have uh, everything kind of in order before we move out. Because while so far it has been relatively easy, uh, the brutal mode, which is I guess a little bit unfortunate too, I'm not expecting that to last. So what I'm expecting to have happen now is that I will. I'll start seeing some things that are a little bit harder to defeat, some harder waves coming in. If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. And yeah, basically I'm, I'm expecting things to get tougher. Uh, now we are starting to run low on power as well. Uh, despite all of our upgrades. So the other thing that we want to do is bump up to the next level of renewable power. It's largely a function of having all these mines and... Yeah, I am relying a lot on solar at the moment. Just don't want to build anything in this area. This is going to be a uh, bio zone, basically. I'm going to grow things here. But sunlight should not be far away. And what I might do is drop down some more power here. Get back to sunlight, and we're back in the in the green. There we go. And these guys can all fill up, and we should hopefully have enough for the light. So 
There's an orbital scanner that was taking up a heap of power, I think. Uh, can I upgrade these anymore? Nope, and I don't have any more. No, so I could go for the third level of that, but where are we at? Alien flora cultivation is the next one we're going for. We do have hazenite drilling as one of the options here as well. And we do have research station. So alien cultivation is the first one that we really want and we're going to expand out to the north as well in this episode I believe. So let's get started with that. Uh, let's also start scanning things while we can. It's nice and peaceful to do so. Hi guys. So I want to scan you before I kill you. There we are. Oh. Whatever it saves. This gives it a little bit of pause. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Hi right, guys. It's too dangerous to be left alive. Scan up everything, basically. All right. So this mud mud patch here is going to be mud target number one, and we're going to just build a giant wall around it. Oh, this cup. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that later. Uh, we're we're pretty good on carbonium at the moment. Plus 12 at the moment. That's okay for this stage of the game. It's not going to be enough, of course, for later stages. But you know, it's a decent amount just to start us off. Run this along here. Just head them off at the pass, so to speak, by dropping in a few turrets here, prepare drone maybe, and a little bit more wall. Do we have a battery up here? Yeah, we do. And then these guys, they're anyone's guess, but I, if I were to guess, I'm going to say around about here. Oh, I do have... Just going to put down some artillery. Let's upgrade those to level 2s. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Just gonna continue on building my wall. I mean, if it turns out to be bigger than expected, then uh, I may not actually be unhappy about that. <laughs> a new technology has been developed. New Good to get to a, a bit more of a challenge happening, and really show you, uh, I guess, why I'm actually spending all this time. Because at the moment, I'm guessing it's uh, it's like, well, you know, you, pigs, you're overbuilding. Why are you doing all this effort? We could be getting on and getting on with the campaign and the mission. There will be a reason. Uh, now, uh, looks like there's some baddies up here. Danger! An enemy swarm is approaching. 
Launching our base. Brace for combat. We'll see how big this swarm actually is. We should start seeing it come up on radar soon. Either on the right. Oh, yeah, they're all coming for this one place here. All right. the flamethrower just makes very short work of these guys. Just gonna sort of head them off at the pass here. Oh, wall destroyed. Generally a bad sign. Let's go up north. Are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. So that was a little bit more intense, I guess you could say. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Repair these up to right here. Make sure they didn't destroy the cables. Uh, I think we're good. Got mist here. Oh, yep. Plenty of biomass. A few bits and pieces. Really. Go back to building my wall. Ah, now I can start making my biomass generators. That's good. So we'll set those up in here in a second. Blueprints are available for crafting. There we go. Okay, so we have all this mud, and that mud is going to be the secret to our success here. Uh, I'm really hoping it I can actually build enough power to, to do this. And what we want to do is place liquid pumps. Now, there is a minimum distance between each liquid pump. So I'm going to really try and spread these out to maximize the amount of liquids that I can pump out. So I think that's going to be a maximum there. All right, so we have three pumps, which is enough for three water filtering plants, uh, which we're just going to put neatly in a row here. Now later on, when we get different levels of plants, then that means we will of course be able to get more, but for the time being, this is what we're restricted to. And then we want a cultivator for these. Now I think our cultivator is kind of a nice place here. And then we want things that's going to harvest from that cultivator. I believe it's a two to one ratio. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Oh, we could be researching. We keep that research up. That's why I queue up so much at a time. Let's add in that hazonite handling. Uh, maybe titanium machinery because that's going to be a a speed upgrade. Drop in those ones. Uh, we don't need the rest. Uh, we actually don't need that tree whatsoever. Better onto these. And then maybe, yeah, next upgrade to next level HQ. Next 
Excellent. Now, what you can do is set on these ones to use special types of plants. So we could put this in, which would also give us, in addition to biomass, it would give us some iron as well as some purple stuff. I actually don't, can't remember what the purple stuff is. Uh, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to equip it. There we are. So it's going to make that fungus plant. Give us some extra resources instead of just biomass. Now I'm actually not certain if that's too if that detracts the rain from. Is over. Oh hi there! I can't leave you. Can't leave you chilling out in my base, dude. You'll you'll wake up and break the joint. Uh, now, what I was saying was I just couldn't remember, it, or no, I don't know, I should say. It's not about memory, it's all about just not knowing. Um, if that means... That it will give us less biomass or not. All right, so to three and four, All right, get this mud down here. We will, of course, need to build defences along here, which we have so far neglected to do so. Apparently, if you hold, it will be the maximum length between power cables, which is good, because it makes doing this part around the wall a lot easier. Nice little quality of life improvement. Or, f or setting. Okay. Uh, we want a few more of these cultivators. Now, these output 50 water, I believe. Yep. So, with 50 water, I can make a cultivator. Or two cultivators, rather. So, we're going to go... One cultivator... Then I'm out of cobalt, so I'll need to run up and find some to, uh, to build the best the rest of this. The best of it. <laughs> Oops. Carbonium deposit depleted. We are losing some carbonium deposits as well, so we can sell off this guy here. Yeah, that's the last of my carbonium yep, here. Oh, we've got plenty there, of course. I can't see any other... Uh, back at the main base, we have no longer need this guy. also build from here but now we should have a I said we should have a incoming amounts of biomass but we don't I'm wondering if that is because I have chosen that monkey fungus not getting any of the cool resource from that either so let's can we move it huh it's 
could be an issue. Well, what do I do then? Let's just sell it. And put it back in, and it should be at its default settings. And at least give us some grass. All the natives all up there panicking. Oh my god, don't hurt us, please. Looks like it can't. Oh no, it is growing grass there. I was think, thinking that it couldn't grow it there for a second. Okay, so our furthest point towards Wind our slowing down. known point dense. of cobalt. A fog is forming up. From right here. We are going to spend time just scanning everything. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crime. Interesting. It appears that this life form contains large amounts of hazmat in crystallized form. If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazmat to craft better equipment and weapons. We can use the orbital scanner to search for larger populations of this life form. Their presence should lead us to large quantities of hazmat. That's an excellent idea, Mr. Riggs. Our equipment sure could use an upgrade. Orbital scanning finished. Potential hazmat rich location detected. I have marked a rich on coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. That was super fast. It looks like there's a lot of these plants or mushrooms or whatever we should call them nearby. We can work on proper categorization as soon as we study more samples of the species. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The fog is clearing up. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Hey, always like finding new species. Essentially, as you get more familiar familiar with the plants, then you will get uh, better upgrades. Now we do have this geothermal vent here, and we're going to take advantage of that and plop it down. Let's 
going to produce 200 energy per second, which is a decent amount. It's equivalent to two power plants. And then we are going to put down a few a new technology has been developed. bits and pieces here. Not enough AI yeah, yeah. More AI Just gonna make a little refuge up here. I know there's nothing to mine, but there is the cobalt up towards the north here. Our base is low on power. Uh not really. You just think that because I've built some things that aren't powered. Uh, drop that there. Build this around. Got a radar station here now as well, which is the things that was after. Basically, we are putting in place some defenses. Oh yeah, the, the first thing it does, of course, is pick off, piss off the locals. So not prepared for that. There's just going to be a little forward outpost here. Uh, partially to give me a, uh, a quick jump point up here. Actually, mostly for that. Just and because it's a solid power sort of output, then that's why we can do that sort of thing. Now, the other trouble that we are having, of course, is the lights are flickering on and off back home. So as soon as we have, that's partially because we had uh, that fog come in and it went dark. So we just want to make sure that we survive until morning, so to speak, and once morning's done... An is near our base. Uh, okay. So what we might do is just switch you off. Where's it coming from? Right there! Whoa! Okay. Um... We're going to do an extra layer of wall here. I was not expecting that. That's that's kind of awesome placement, but also somewhat scary. Uh, how much is... Yeah, you've got a little bit of extra. So we'll spend some of our cobalt just upgrading our, our base tier turrets. out of things and then yeah we're gonna chuck down some mines seems like a really good place to mine now can we build anything new and funky Ah, we can build the floating mines gun. Build the grenade launcher. 
And we can build the rocket launcher. Alright, so I have, hadn't really used those guns too much in the previous playthrough. Maybe I can do a, a double one of these. You can. Okay, we're going to do that then. And what I'm going to do is equip that floating mine on my left hand here. And just use the floating mine guns to put in some extras. Now the other thing is, I'm going to use the, uh, the grenade launcher for a bit because I haven't done that before. And then... Basically, this is going to help put in a whole heap of floating mines for me. And we're going to mine this up so that it's really going to just mess anything up. Ah, now that used the same ammo source. That was a, maybe a mistake. Okay. So essentially you want guns that are using different ammo types. Uh, so you're using the rocket type. That means I can't also can't use the rocket launcher. Hmm. Oh well, we we won't be starting off with the rocket launcher. Well, we just use the trusty machine gun. Here they come. I'm equip the, equip the hammer. We will fight them on the beaches. If we had beaches on Galatea 37. As it is, we're... We're a little low on beaches. We'll have to fight them somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, so those mines really just made a mess of them. And the flamethrower is just basically clearing up these these guys. Now the downside of the flamethrower is it burns up all your drops. So all the things that you would have otherwise gotten from them. They're all, uh, they're all destroyed. A bit sad, but... Okay, so back here. Do we still have the power problem? No, we don't. Let's put you back on. Um, right, so we are going to need more AI cores. Uh, but before anything else, uh, how are we going on biomass production? Alright, so we have an excess now, which is good, because that's going to be our biomass power plant uh, production. Did I say biomass just then? Let's just uh, put them like this. Alright, so we should start seeing a negative biomass intake now, because I've just put down too many for it to handle. That's fine. Uh, with our cobalt now, we should be able to finish off up the top here, so that we have some production facilities, or harvesting stations. Put down one, and two. Do one for more cobalt, of course. Which 
sure we can't mine this rare element? Okay. When do we get rare element mining? There. So it's this HQ upgrade that we really want. So we can do rare element mining. Put a mine on this. Now, if I recall correctly, this meter swarm is probably going to upset the locals. And it's going to be very localized to where I'm standing. He is not happy with me. The rock rain is over. That was intense. She and I have different definitions of intense. Alright, so we just want to repair these. Apparently we've spotted something to shoot as well. Yeah, that's the artillery guy. Fortunately, my own artillery took care of it. Uh, how much cobalt have we got? Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. If by what you can learn, you mean let's go to its area and kill it. Okay. Collect up all this biomass. It's just lying around, it's free power after all. And we're gonna go back to here. And we should be able to put down one more of these. That's going to fill out our first stage of biomass production. See, we've just got this cursor ho hovering all the time. Can I... Nope. Can't get rid of it. Uh, so, upgrading basic resource production. You know what? I'm more interested in HQ. So, let's do that. Ah, oh, didn't put down power on that. Which we will need. Go. Excellent, so these three are going to produce biomass, uh, I'm not sure how much per second it actually produces, we are slowly losing, oh no, slowly gaining some biomass, so that's an excellent sign and that's going to be a really good solid source of power for us. And we also apparently have a nest up and running and some kind of problem with Have a goop problem. Not enough mud. We should have enough mud. Only four of you. All right. Base is under attack. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, next thing I want to do is I need some more AI cores. So again, we're going to use this this little section down here. Drop it down. Since we do have a net positive. 
apply a mess. We'll drop down another one of those plants. Now, we have no defenses up the top here, so we're going to fix that. First, we'll put in some radar so we can see what's coming. Then we're going to go with the stock standard Mark 1 turrets just to start us off. Warning! A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Maybe with a flamer edition. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. I'm not going to waste turrets on the bottom here, solely from the perspective that my incoming attacks are not going to come from that direction. Or if they they are, then it means the rest of my base has fallen and really it's uh, no longer a problem. Because we should be dead. down some defensive drones, or repair drones I should say, not defensive. And I think we're out of the cobalt necessary for more of them. Also put down some artillery. Just to take them out as they approach, help thin out the numbers. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. And that should be enough to really just get us started. We can see that artillery is actually starting to earn, immediately earn its keep. How are we going on research? Alright, we've got the next level of research up and running. And rare element mine is going to be the first thing that I'm going to put down there. We also have the ability to get our carbonium synthesizers and ironium synthesizers up and running. As well as the next level of liquid production, which is of course going to be very important for us because we need that liquid to make power. Uh, wall upgrades, geothermal or renewable power plant upgrades, battery upgrades, all the things that we really want to see. But rare element mining is going to be the first thing that's really important to us. Uh, so we do want to get that up and running. We can also start getting our level 2 armory after that. And that will get us some, some better guns basically. And then we probably want to go with the next level lab as well, just directly after that. And then by that stage, hopefully, I will have had some more uh, cobalt production coming in. So that's where we'll start stacking up these to uh, to expand out our liquid base production and just creep uh, creep over the map and take it over. That is the goal here. Base is under attack. Now the other thing that we want to do, of course, is go find this rare creature and destroy it. That might sound a little harsh, but you know you got to do what you got to do to survive. Okay, so instead of just having our Last in our off hand or our machine gun. We're gonna do the shotgun in our left hand. Gonna put the machine gun over here. And so basically we have a grenade launcher and a machine gun equipped. Dual wielding guns. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. Now that looked like a ne negative in power. How are we going for power consumption? It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. 
Well, given it's out night time, we shouldn't really have too much problem there. Not sure why we're uh, having so much problem with this mud. We shouldn't. Given it's the right ratio. Pumps. Ship reduction. That's alright. I'll fix it up later. And in the meantime. I am my giant cursor. Warning! A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Just gonna go hunt down some more. Hi there, you're a nice specimen. So it seems I'm brutal that we're getting the higher level creatures spawned from nests, which is good. That's what we want to see. We want to see the horrible aliens that this colony planet has to offer. Research the local fauna. I've got a new type of crystal that we can. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Not mistaken, that should mean oh, I want this one. Yeah, that should mean that I should be able to put down a cobalt mine. No? Research completed. Rare element, it's doing it now. All right. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Ah, it's one of these. Alright. So, let's get prepped for it. Oh, I've already got that equipped, and we're probably just going to equip that. Yeah, alright. So, 
this is going to call a whole heap of critters in to attack me. Hi there. But there will be a reward at the end of this, hence why we're doing it. Oh really? That's my reward? Death? Death is my reward? I throw a grenade to your reward. Search your reward. Yeah. That was unfortunate. <sighs> well, that was a little bit disappointing, really. Oh, we, we can go find something up here. Hi guys, do you mind if I just do, oh it's a geothermal plant, alright. I think it's even too close to the edge of the map to build, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely having trouble getting enough resource down here. I wonder if it's something to do with pumping flow, maybe. Let's just put in some liquid storage. Store that mud. Hopefully, fix our problem. Warning! A large group of creatures is gathering near our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. All right, it's coming in from the north this time. So fortunately we do have some things prepared. We want to upgrade a few of these towers. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. We might also put down some flamer turrets just to get rid of the, the bulk of the enemies. That was rare element mining coming in online, I believe, so you will yoink up here. And put down some cobalt mines. Which will be enormously helpful. I'm not sure that's going to be enough power for them either. How are we going on? Yeah, biomass was slowly decreasing. So we do want to use mud coming out of this guy. How much mud do you make, mate? A hundred. So that will feed one of you. It's not quite enough to really do anything with. A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. So I'm a little bit hopeful they don't go for the top right. I think they might because the proximity is the closest. Yeah, they are. Come on, guys. Not enough 
Biomass. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Excellent. So our power plants live to see another day, which is nice. Fortunately, there's enough power, it seems, to uh, just balance everything off. And the next thing we want to do, of course, is fix that plant biomass problem. So we can fit a pump here, and we can fit a pump here. So that gives us two water filtering plants. Not enough plant biomass. to get some waterworks on the way here it's going to feed into a cultivator that we're going to drop here I think and then the harvesting stations give us some more biomass and that's going to be used for power. Now I'm starting to get more power outages. Uh, I'm going to bump up renewable energy up a slot. Now of course when I get power outages then my IMS generators can't, the atmosphere, very can't close work. To our it looks like it's coming our way. So we've got a, like a cascade failure here until these power plants come online. Come on, guys. What time is it? There is a time the thing the here. Soon. Eight o'clock. There we, we go. Now we're starting to get a bit more power now. Still not enough. Still going to have rolling blackouts. Which is why I really want to get the next level of renewable power. It's hit the ground. Let's head there quickly and see what we can learn. That's totally deliberate. It's clicking there. Alright, we're starting to get biomass production back on track. I don't think it's going to be perfect still. Let's try and it's darndest. Let's try and it's darndest. Still got a problem with the mud, apparently. Yeah. So you're producing 100 miles a second. You're taking 100 miles a second. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, uh, maybe I... Haha, -ha, there's our issue. Iron deposit depleted. Don't need that anymore. That will speed up our cultivation, of course. Uh, we just had an iron deposit depleted as well down here. We are going to 
want more Ironium. I just teleported to the same place, really. <laughs> A, new technology A little bit silly. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Could do a bit of a, an upgrade here, actually. Where we just go like that. Seem a little bit more sensible. some redundancy in the power supplies. Uh, put down another flamer. And artillery battery there as well. Uh, final thing of course I should be putting down is our repair facilities. Uh, now originally I was actually just coming up here for a reason. reason was to just sneakily come out here build some ironium factories given that we seem to be you know not filling up our storage anymore Still not quite believing this is the brutal mode. Although, again, could eat my modes later on. Could be going, oh please help me. Research completed. I'm too pretty to die. Uh, five minutes off renewable energy number two. What I might do is upgrade my HQ again. Headquarters upgrade in progress. I think I'm going to switch some of my loadout around, I'm still not happy with it. I am going to go back to the rocket launcher, I did enjoy that one and it seems to be very effective. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack, let's strengthen our defences. Uh, they're all going to come from the bottom this time. Alright, so what have we got down this way? We've only got the basics really. All right. So, Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. of course, internal AI hub problem. Uh, gonna look forward to the upgrades that we get for those. Down some some mines. Everyone loves a good mine. We'll go flamer and flamer. Not enough steel. And apparently I'm low on steel. So I've sucked up all the steel. Yeah, we've got a little low 
going to apply it here. And then... Yeah, they're going to run out too. And that's how fast you go from having, hey, we've got plenty of resources, we don't need to do anything, to, oh my god, where's all my resource? So expanding your economy is a good thing. So I think these are going to be my next. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures oh, approaching our base. Oh, that was mob. False okay. alarm. We're ready for them. Carbonium deposit depleted. We can get plants that will give us iron as well. Oh, here's the other thing that we want to expand out to. So. Oh, hi there, guys. Just gonna do a... Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a proper wave of enemies. That's what we want to see. Death. Death coming for us. some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Definitely want that Mark II battery storage. It's going to be really helpful. How are we going on plant matter? Yeah, we've got plenty of biomass. me and what it should do is allow us another communications hub as soon as we have the iron for it so let's go get that happening now that is another source of mud ladies and gentlemen you know how much we love mud in this one
And yes, I am aware that I'm getting power shortages again. But I'm hopeful that we'll be able to solve it. Oh, really? <laughs> That's just mean. How far off we are? Yeah, not far from next level renewable power. The wind is very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. Now the main reason why we're doing this big upgrade is because it's another mud patch of course. So we're going to take advantage of the, the extra mud that we have been given. And that's another four. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. And of course, another four mud filtering plants. supply I say some because we're going to need terrible amounts of carbonium to do this uh, amounts of carbonium we don't have course means more carbonium mines and so the vicious cycle continues. Down some more carbonium factories. Basics to real basics. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need better than that.
iron deposit depleted. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Alright, so we have next level laboratory. Going for energy storage next. Also, I believe upgrade this guy. Oh, maybe we can't. Ah, I don't have titanium. Yeah, fair enough. I'm gonna have titanium for a while too. But we haven't done anything with our new mud supply. So we can put a cultivator here maybe. Want as much space as possible. Filled up some of the space with other power sources. I'm sensing slight tremors. They are intensifying over time. It looks like an earthquake is coming. Earthquakes are slightly inconvenient and it's going to damage everything. The earthquake's epicenter is near our position. It will deal serious yeah. damage to all our buildings in that area. Fortunately, we have no buildings in that area. So it's not really a thing. Alright, so that's more... Sell a few. More biomass for more bio biomass power plants. over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. So yeah, this is... the boring part of the game, running around and upgrading everything. Carbonium point there, so we'll go grab that as well. The reason I build gates like that is just so they're flush with the wall. My, uh, otherwise, it offends my sense of uh, aesthetics.
Oh, we've hit him. We are still going to want more Ironium, etc. The way we're going to do this now, rather than expanding out to new plants, is because we're going to need fairly steady supply, we're going to make Ironium and Carbonium fabricators that we have a that way we have a guaranteed supply as long as we have power now to do this of course we're going to need some uh, some really good power generation so that next level of of our plants is going to be really important that looks like a mob there In the meantime, that doesn't stop us from just grabbing the carbonium veins when we see them. Because we might as well. I think this little area here will be our fabrication point. Uh, so we're just waiting on energy storage level two. And then where's our, maybe we've already got, yeah, number six is our synthesizers. So yeah, we'll put that as the next thing we do after it. And then I think the other thing that I wanted to do was put down another laboratory put it down near this guy up here it's got, got water running around that area that'll help with research uh, come on there we go we can snake it in it's a bit messy but we can snake it in uh, and we also want another communication hub now that we have another one available to us. Yeah, we're going to stick this over here just because I want this space around that when it does get built. And we can do another armory, of course. And armory is important for fabrication of weapons and ammo for me, for my mech. And you can see how your base quickly grows out is extra space to continue. And we're going to do some upgrades. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. All right, so we've got energy storage level two will help out a heap. Uh, those solar power plants upgraded to the next level. These ones are already upgraded from the looks. Just gonna wander around and upgrade where we've got them. A large group of creatures is gathering near our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Coming from the bottom right. There's a mine down there. They're still mining. All right. Well, uh, I'd say we'll give you some upgrades, but we we have no stuff for it. Yeah, so it's areas where we're, we're not as strong as we would like. 
I don't really want to build it anymore of these, I wanted to just upgrade them when I get the tech, but I think I will have to. It's not like we don't have the power or the resources, it's just that I don't want to spend them. Uh, got our sludge thing here as well, so we're going to want to close this eventually. Got a couple more carbonium mines that could be useful. Hi there. Cracoon. Drop you down. Put down a flamer or two. Maybe a few rockets. And then some artillery. Make sure you've got power. And over here, we want to do the same. Our little checkpoint here. Put down a flamer. Maybe a rocket launcher. And some arty. All important artillery. And then we'll drop some mines. Guess what? We've got some time. A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. All right, here they come. So I think the the hostile swarms must upgrade according to where you've been and uh, your HQ level. So that way, if your HQ level is still a little bit low. You're not going to be overwhelmed by uh, masses of creatures that you can't handle. It probably works out differently on survivalists, but for the campaign that seems to be what's going on. Now this big guy is resistant to explosives. The other things that we've just been picking up there are actually uh, modifications that we can put to our weapons. So it will be very handy later on. I actually have two things equipped that will make it uh, more likely that I see those uh, when they get dropped. That should be a plant we can grow. So, for the DNA of it, but that's all right. That's it there. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Hey. What we wanted. I'll study this guy. negative power of course at the moment but we have upgraded our energy storage which means that that doesn't matter that we're so uh, so low in our A new technology has been developed new buildings are available for construction all right so that was carbonium synthesizers excellent that in particular is going to help us build out some things so I think I think I want to continue to leave this blank just for the future but where we want to build out more of our bio the wind is picking up speed. Uh, production Loose objects are starting to fly and we might build our carbonium factories or synthesizers, I should say, and ironium synthesizers these over here. Can make our life easier. Now but these do take a lot of like power, so that's 500 uh, per per tick. So it's going to be 
really necessary to have massive amounts of power. Now the other thing I'm going to do is just close off this gap here. We're going to make good use of the space that we have. Charged attack. The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. Now by expanding out this way, we're gonna nest again. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. AI cores here. So that we can put them here instead. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. And then I'm gonna turn this into a renewable energy park. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Iron deposit depleted. All right, so we are going to use um, solar power here. I mean, not solar, wind power here as our main source of energy supply. Uh, actually, what I should be able to do is. Hold Alt, and then it will build the level twos for me, and that will save me a Warning. bit of time. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. those ones that I didn't get the LP base is under attack that's all right we, we took care of that that's good do need some more teleport pads it seems then we'll put some solar on the other side. Now solar produces more power, but of course it only works during the day. Iron deposit depleted. Depleted another deposit of ironium. Again, I'm not holding alt. That would have been smart to do it at the start. That. A bit weird. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. And then no energy park is complete without batteries. Again, holding out. 
really? Apparently, I don't know what I'll let me hold out on those ones. Maybe. I don't know. Base is under attack. I'm gonna put a rift portal up there, I think. I'm gonna jump up there quickly. Oh yeah, apparently. Holding out did work, or would have. <sighs> Alright, so we've got net positive 5,000 power, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna use that power. Build up our synthesizers. So starting off with Ironium. Two, one, two, three. And then we'll do some carbonium. Maybe four. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Should be able to upgrade this guy to get our research faster. Getting defensive buildings too, which is going to mean that we can upgrade our uh, upgrade our walls to the next level wall. So far, this playthrough has largely been about base building. Yeah, I'm kind of hopeful that we'd be getting some, uh, I guess, a bit more intense attacks. Uh, it seems because I haven't I'm progressed the storyline. They are intensifying over time. It looks like an earthquake is coming. Pair these, yep. The now we're starting to get some. Oh, really? That's no fun. I'm gonna have to go around and repair everything. Oh, man. So much repairing required. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. Oh wow. That's a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. That's an annoyance. Main thing is the damaging the, the power lines. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. <sighs> we should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. All right, I need to run around and repair everything. It's like the nastiest thing that Debebs could do. Mind you, if you had that paired with like a massive attack coming in. I can see that getting, like, uh, that could be a devastating sort of move. You had that paired with your attack. You'd be going, oh god. Actually, it was a little bit stronger if it actually took out those power connect cables.
hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Uh, up to the storage limit, are we? We'll uh, probably fix that soon. Base is under attack. Okay, I think we're good now. <sighs> that's that's an annoying thing. Okay. So we've got a decent amount of power incoming. We've got decent amount of uh, power storage now as well, which is great. We just got wall levels too. Excellent. Um. So we now want to build up some of our extra sort of things so we could get the next level of uh, our biomass power plants. We can also get next level harvesting station. Until we go discover some more things, we're not gonna get much more alien research. What we can do is start getting some better weapons. Let's get this in preparation for our explorations. Get the power jump as well, that'll be a nice little treat. Emergency explosion, so we can explode in the case of emergency. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd already added you further up. I won't be able to build the plasma gum, so there's no point. I don't think so anyway, maybe I can. level walls. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. course means more running around and upgrading stuff. Base is under attack. So so far this is playing out pretty much very similar to the, the first playthrough. Not seeing much differences, to be honest. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. So, I guess on brutal mode, I was kind of hoping for a, a little bit of, you know, a bit more 
regular attacks. So if I had those incoming attacks, or big level incoming attacks on a, uh, a more regular basis, then I guess I'd be thinking, oh yeah, this is a little bit more exciting, a little bit more challenging. And again, it could just pick up later on. But at this stage, I'm just kind of... Yeah. Without, uh... Base is under attack. That's some significantly harder stuff happening. Then I'll resort to making this, I guess, maybe artificially hard for me by taking the the biomes out of, out of order or something just to prompt some harder enemies. Hey! Uh, we probably don't need a dude. Where are they coming from? Top left. Make sure that they're all... yeah. Alright, that can be the wall that we upgrade then. Oh! Out of power. How did that happen? Uh, quickly, quickly, let's go turn some stuff off. Carbonium deposit depleted. There we are, we're get, getting power back. <laughs> Alright, apparently I don't have enough batteries to last me the night uh, when my solar panels are offline. Well, that could have been interesting. Maybe I should have just said, okay, no, pa no power mode. Let's just fix our storage problem. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Still haven't repaired everything apparently. Let's put that drone in here. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle. Some buildings <gasps> don't have enough power. Base is under attack. Let's just see if it holds.
Have a grenade out there. Burn them all. Now he picks up all the loot. The worst they did was just take out my Cambodian mines over here. I think we could do a no wall playthrough at some point. Maybe that'll make it a little bit harder. Anyway, yeah, actually, let's let's get a poll or a comment or something. Tell me, how should I handicap myself? <laughs> what other handicaps apart from going green? Because this is basically solvable as soon as we, we put in these. Um, should I put in place to make it basically a more difficult playthrough? Should I do a no wall pay playthrough where I'm not allowed to put down walls and have to... I can hear distant thunder. The wind is also picking up. A storm is coming. Yeah, what what, what sort of stupid arbitrary rules should I put in place? But our base is safe from the wind. Wind turbine output is at maximum levels. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. We should Got next level uh, liquids, which of course means more plants that I can create and more power. Uh, need some repairs. Base is under attack. Upgrade these. Yeah, upgrade you too. down my carbonium plants. It was rude. It was rude. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. The storm is over. Carbonium deposit depleted. Put down some flamer towers as they were incredibly effective. And I think we want some more arty. Can I upgrade those things yet? I can. Excellent. Let's go find where I've stashed most of them. Uh, probably want to upgrade to solid storage when we can too. Oh, we can upgrade our ammo dumps. Let's put them in place. Base is under attack. Alright, so we've got negative 3,000 a tick overnight. With our power, that's largely down to our fabrication facilities. So what I think I want to do 
is just reduce that as much as possible. Can't upgrade those yet. Nope. And however, upgrade our pumps. Warning: A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Upgraded solid material storage. So I'm not sure how much of a problem that's going to be. I mean, we could math it out. Or if it would give me a time. Actually, that'd be really good if it just told me a basic current rate. This is how many hours or kilowatt hours you've got remaining. That could be could be a nice little quality of life, or if someone might, wants to make a mod that does that, or if someone wants to make an extra brutal mod that wraps up the uh, I guess the early stages of the campaign. Maybe it, later on, as I said, it could get a lot harder then. At which point, uh, it could be you know sufficient level difficulty to justify the brutal tag but as it stands brutal is just not that brutal we'll upgrade our other pumps here upgrade our other water making facilities of course we're low on ironium again Sell those plants that we no longer need. And we're out of cobalt, it seems, too. Uh, and we've only got 2,700 left of it, so just want to be aware of that, I guess. Uh, we can put down another rare element. Mine on two here, just on the remaining bits and pieces, Base is under attack. which we might as well do. Basically, I'm, I'm pretty much just waiting for my research to tick up to a certain degree at the moment, and putting up my base in the meantime. Uh, we might as well get the solid material storage upgrades. Get them to level 2. We want to repair this wall. A new technology has been developed. We want to upgrade the wall too. Available for construction. It is a wall directly into the heart of my base. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. And yeah, this, this side is really undefended actually. Getting dense. A fog is forming up. Iron deposit. It's hard to see anything in this fog.
hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Okay, so the fog, wait, yeah, it's gonna run out of power again, thanks to this fog. Base is under attack. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Indeed it will, because most of our power is renewable. <laughs> right. Uh, we can get the next level of animal biomass power plants. Or biomass power plant. Alright, so cultivation is the next thing that's happening. We're still struggling from power, so I just don't want to end the episode just yet until we have uh, really nice stable power in place and really start getting some decent stuff all right so if we upgrade this what do we get it's going to take more biomass Hostile creatures are at a level one a second. Us. We should go there and clear it out. And produce another fifty. So this seems like a bad deal. It seems like just making more of these things would be better than let's upgrade one of them. I oh, know it's ah okay. So maybe I misread that. Yeah, one hundred fifty a second. So it is going to be better to upgrade than produce more. So we're going to do that. Now this is going to put enormous strain on our plants, or plant generators. I'm going, no, why are you doing this to me? Uh, it almost seems like we could get another, just the ratio still seems off here. We could almost get another harvester in place, I think. Uh, because there's heaps of plants still around aren't being harvested. Oh, we also need to repair some stuff here. Apparently you guys were also hit by the great, great uh, earthquake quake. So we're going to drop down another harvesting station. And if that's true for them, then yeah, see, we've got the same sort of uh, problem, so to speak, up here. So we could really just drop down some more harvesting stations. that our biomass does not run out. Now we will be upgrading these as well to the next level once we have that level of research which is 16 minutes out so it's a while. Oh we seem to be out of power as well. Uh, it's missing a connector I think. Base is under attack. Go. Our uranium mine over here is so now. Can we? Yeah, we can just reach it from here. Yeah, we only have a net positive of 750 at the moment. And we're going on biomatter. I think that's still continuing to increase. So. Let's drop down 
a little bit more of our fancy biomass power plants. Another four or six of them. Just because we're going to need that power overnight. Excellent. Plant power. Base is under attack. Now I'm just going to wait to see if this ticks below a thousand. If it doesn't, then I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. Yeah, I think we are slowly losing, because I don't think we're going to get back up to that 1,200 level. It would be really nice to see what the net, of, net positive negatives are, or the net movement is. If there was some kind of graph or something. Alright, so bottom right, top right. That's of course going to take out my cobalt generation. Which is a little bit frustrating. But what else is going on down here? Because I think now we have 75 per second, right? So these take 100. So between the three of them, I don't quite have enough. But between the four of these, we should be able to put in another cultivator, which I think we're going to locate over here. Base is under attack. And that should tip the scales in our favour for the biomass generation. All right, so let's uh, let's defeat this attack, and then I think we'll call it an episode. Warning: A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. I'm going to do my best to defend the Cobalt Mine up here, but I don't think I'll be able to, uh, to really fend off an entire horde by myself. Not, not within the space provided the... Maybe I will be able to. Oh, 
Oh, breaking our walls, that's a bad sign. is where the bulk of their attack is happening. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. again <laughs> yeah can we upgrade things yet no Day. How far off are we from this re We're really far out from that research being completed. A little bit frustrating. Is just another harvester here. Another harvester here. These strong winds can make our life easier. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. Hey, more power. That's what we want to see. They're not upgraded either. gonna get our plant biomass ones. Level 2. Holding down the alt key to do that. Base is under attack. Right, yeah, that's really starting to cut into our biomass generation. What I'm going to do is sell a wall here. So that's producing an extra 50 water at the moment. Producing an extra hundred, which is being taken up by that. Can I not get another one? Warning, a new in. group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Can I maybe sell you? Let's see if I can sneak it in somewhere. Yeah, oh well. Um, what can I do here? We can upgrade to three, four, Base one, is under two, attack. three, four. Which means I could put another cultivator in this section here, which will probably have to go in this area. Cultivator. Be here, yeah. And then we'll get some harvesters to surround it. And 
yeah, we can see that we are. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from the west. We should go there and clear it out. That please. There we go. Bit more biomass generation happening. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Not enough plant biomass. It looks like we'll have to put down get more renewable power plants. Just in the meantime. Insufficient biomass generation. Not enough plant biomass. Yes, yes, we know. We know. Okay, so this is now officially my big renewable power plant area. <laughs> if I lose this, then I will have problems. Probably put some turrets, given how important this is. It. <laughs> Oops. Give me a repair. Okay. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Carbonium deposit depleted. Oh, I can put down more ammo storage. Probably gonna want that. Not enough plant biomass. Might want another factory for it. Now on the plus side, we are sitting at our full 1.4 million power. For a little bit of context, uh, I had 1.4 million uh, power storage, or maybe 1.6 at the end of my normal Let's Play series. So it is a significant significant amount of power storage. You need a million at the end game just to trigger your uh, final Our rift back to stopped. earth. Our wind turbines are down. I think I want to way through here. Let's put that in place. And of course we just had our wind power stop, which is somewhat inconvenient. Is that not level 2? I thought I upgraded you. Not enough plant biomass. Uh, 
so we are three minutes and five seconds off the next biomass upgrade. We're gonna stick it out. We should go there and clear it out. Once we have that, then things will be a little bit better. We will be able to upgrade our biomass production facilities. And from there, uh, so basically it puts down extra drones for them. And from there, we should have pretty stable power. Won't be perfect, but it will be at least stable and stop these outages where suddenly our tick goes to negative 8,000, which is possibly a concern. Especially when we have those, those periods where our wind power just disappears, like right now. Under attack. And it's night time, so we don't have our solar. Is returning to normal. So all our power bit production at the moment is coming from our plant biomass stations. I think I want to gate here as well. I really haven't planned out some of this. Great manner. We are 1 minute 42 seconds away. Let's just see what else I can make instead of... Don't build anything. Spear, no. No, no, no new fun guns. It's a bit sad. Vax Moth. So that's what I want to research this playthrough. I've only got familiarity. Uh, that's actually going to lead to a special research tree. I didn't get to do it in my normal play playthrough, I just didn't find enough of them. This one should be different, of course. I wish I could have put it... Actually, hang Warning. on. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby no. nest. Yeah, no, top level. It's bit unfortunate that I couldn't get sneak in another one over here. That would have meant another biomass production facility maybe sitting around here. Of course there will be a further upgrade to come at level 3 for these things. So we're just going to have to rely on that. And we have 52 seconds out. Not enough plant biomass. Base is under attack. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. Yup. Pew. Fourteen. Thirteen. I can probably start from the bottom and work my way up, just be a little bit a little bit methodical about this at least. A new technology has been developed. Hey. New are available for construction. Now I think it's gonna want extra water. We'll see. Hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Not enough plant biomass. So one to one. This wants a hundred water a second. Still. And we're producing 150, so yeah, we're gonna be good. Excellent. Alright, let's upgrade these to the next level. Get more biomass. Base is under attack. Uh, iron. Uh, 
biomass the problem here folks it's iron which of course means more ironium synthesizers Gonna take 2,000 power there, and yeah, just to rub it in, saying, "Hey, you're running out of all your iron deposits. Maybe you should do something about that." A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Okay. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Yep, so that's already putting a pretty good Might as well just drop a thing to get the last bit of it. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Carbonium deposit depleted. Research completed. Hey, level 2 flamethrower and sword. That's what I'm talking about. Right, no more cobalt for me. Not on this map anyway. Drop down some artillery there. Base is under attack. Producing three. How much water do you make? 75. Yeah, okay. It's a good little mud pool here. A new technology has been developed. Working hard. Prints are available for crafting. Research completed. My caliber rifles. We can get the next level hammer, which, which I'm particularly interested in. get more biomass. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle. Base is under attack. I 
Well, there might be iron up there in the creatures, so let's let's go wipe out some of them. And you found love for grenades. So the ability to lob them over their heads is nice. We do get plenty of uh, alien biomass. Ah, oh, they're coming from an odd angle here. Again, pretty easy. Nothing really to be concerned about. Sell you, repair you, take your mind. And then we'll go back up to well, where we were and just finish off what we were doing here. So you need an upgrade. And you both need an upgrade as well. Alrighty. Deposit depleted. So that should mean that we're yep, we've got a good amount of energy coming in. And we can do some more biomass power plants. One, two, three. See how an additional four handles on that. I keep saying we're coming to the end and I keep doing stuff. It's kind of like how this game operates is there's always something to, to, to do, so, always something to be improved. It's very hard to, uh, to really call it the end unless you actually reach the end of the campaign. Detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Okay. So we're at seventeen hundred. Let's see if it goes down to negative 16, uh, below 1600 or above 1800, I think is going to be our determination. If you're confused where I'm looking, it's up the top right here, and where my resources, I'm just looking at the biomass count. And if it's got, not going anywhere, then I'll be pretty happy. But I think it's going to go down. So we're probably just using a little bit more than we're producing at the moment. Uh, back up into the 1700s. Yeah, I think we're we're probably balanced on a knife edge here for our production, but that's good. Now we are using uh, four and a half thousand a power a second. New blueprints are available for crafting. Uh, but we do seem to have enough energy storage to compensate for that. So we're in a pretty good place, really, in terms of how that all goes. We do have consistent, uh, I guess, ironium and carbonium income. Um, so we've got four plants of carbonium and eight plants of ironium. That's continuing to Warning. top us up. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Plus the, the mines that are still kicking about, uh, mostly carbonium ones. The is gone. Base efficiency is back to normal. Research completed. And we're starting to get some of the cool stuff happening. So we are going to make our 
Next level, flamethrower. We'll go with a high caliber rifle, rifle just to see what it's like. Get our burst rifle. And we'll go for a sword too. Uh, I think we had the ability to get a power jump too. Which means we do some damage when we drop down. Alright, so our movement skill, we're going to go with the power jump and equip that in. Ooh, we can change our appearance. That looks kind of cool, we'll keep with that. Uh, we'll switch out our sword to be this one, and we can apply a mod. Uh, so we can do cryo damage over time. So we've got a cold saw. Sword, or a cold saw. Get it? Get it? Uh, terrible puns are out. The terrible puns have begun! Alright, so... Charge attack adds a small splash damage. power so does it it does it penetrate through them I don't know uh, but that means that we can switch out our flamethrower to the, the upgraded version change our sword to be our cryo sword uh, then I think I'm going to change from shotgun to be the high caliber rifles. And what are we doing on research? Sentinel Towers level three. Yeah, we're just, just cruising along. Might as well queue up Sonic Sensors. Queue up the research station. We will need that for the acid biome. Eventually we're going to need a rip magnetic rift stabilizer, so we'll chuck it into the queue. Alright. Okay, so we've upgraded a few things. We've now got relatively stable power supply, a decent sized base starting us off, just occupying the middle here. Uh, we are going to need to expand out further though. Uh, if anything, this, this experiment with renewable power has definitely taught me that I'm gonna need very big chunks of land for this to work. So, we're going to have re a really big base as a result of our decision to just use clean energy in this uh, playthrough. Because we're going to need lots of power to power, well, one, our guns, of course, as soon as we expand out more, we'll need more uh, turrets, etc. But also, uh, to power our eventual rift station. So, that's going to be an interesting ex experience to see how how far we can take that. Hopefully all the way, uh, but we do have this big mud bucket down the bottom, so that's going to be a good supply of our mud resources, uh, and that's of course going to be converted into biomass, and once we convert it into biomass, then that gives us power. Consistent power being the key, so not something that's subject to Look at all the drones. Look at them all. They're everywhere. <laughs> I've created a monster. Um, not power that's subject to wind or sunshine, but rather consistently coming in. And that's really what we want to get happening here. Now, we are all slowly losing biomass. I just saw that tick down to 1500 and 1400. So, uh, that will be something that we do need to upgrade but eventually. But I'm pretty happy that that will be enough for the time being. Um, in fact, I might just switch off a couple of plants because we do have enough power to last us to the morning now, it seems. I just don't want to get all these here out of biomass alerts happening all the time. So these are 150 power I get. 
production at level two. Really? That was more. All right. Yep, 150 per per one. So that's about half what a gas station would give you. Um, if we were converting all the biomass into gas and then burning the gas. So it's not not a new technology amazing new power. New buildings are available it's better than nothing, but it's not amazing. Uh, of course, if we get more geothermal vents, then that will help us out a lot because these are 200 a pop. They also produce some mud. Uh, and that mud, of course, can then produce more biomass and more power. So it's it's a never-ending cycle of biomass for power. But I think I'm I'm pretty happy where we're at now. I want to go do some things for the rest of my day that don't involve playing this game all the time. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, I know Calling that it's been, I know, if, if, if it was me I might have tapped out a while ago, but hopefully you get an indication of what I'm trying to do here and what I'm trying to set up, so that essentially we're off at a good footing for the desert biome, definitely, but also just in general for our brutal playthrough and hopefully we'll start seeing some some bigger incoming attacks and more frequent attacks. I think the frequency is a big thing. If we had incoming attacks on a more regular basis, if someone develops a mod that allows for that then I'd be extremely interested because at the moment I feel like we've got too much time to recover between attacks whereas if this was a bit more constant and then you're running off to try and uh, defend against an earthquake or something along those lines, then you know it'd be a bit more frantic, a bit more. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Uh, I guess less time to to run off and build structures like this and just kind of do it all on easy mode. Anyway, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what the the devs might come up with something different. Uh, but yeah, my my verdict so far is that it's just a little bit. A little bit too cruisy. A little bit too easy to get through brutal. I'm just, uh, if I'm able to wander around and just kind of talk to you like this, then it's uh, it's not not fast paced enough just yet. But we'll see. Anyway, I've, again, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you want to drop me a follow on Twitch, a like on YouTube, or even a subscribe, amazing, uh, then I'd greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode where we'll be heading to the desert and seeing what brutal means there. Peace out.